Light hotspot activation on the mainnet has officially been pushed back for the second time. The original go live date was April 19th. This was later pushed back to May 3rd, and it is now set for May 11th. The developers have identified a few changes that require further updates by several market participants, and for this reason have decided to push back the timeline to provide sufficient time for these upgrades. Yes, this is frustrating, but it is far better than launching a light hotspot mainnet that is flawed and would require downtime for repairs. The developers have come a long way over the past few months, fixing many of the reported bugs and allowing for onboarding of all the makers, so I think another week to make sure the migration is as smooth as possible is fair. A major blockchain halt due to incomplete testing or a rushed launch would not only hurt the confidence market participants and miners have in the network, but it could send HNT cratering closer to $10. Let's take a look at the details in today's video. What is up, everybody, and welcome back to another video here in the Crypto Compound channel. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you guys are having a great day. Please hit that like and subscribe on the way in. In today's video, we are going to be discussing the light hotspot activation and the pushback in the timeline. As we can see here from the announcement just the other day from Cyborg, the light hotspot update and migration to the mainnet has been pushed back to May 11th. This is the second time it has been pushed back. We are going to go through all of the details, what this means, what the test net currently looks like, all of the makers that are on here, and all of the updates and changes and corrections that have been fixed over the past few weeks while the developers have been working on getting this live. Now, as we can see, they do reference some changes that need to be made by various market participants, and these updates are going to take a little bit of extra time, and that is the reason for them moving back this timeline. As you can see, May 11th is now the official deadline for network participants to be upgraded to the latest software version, and as you can see, activation of light hotspots will take place shortly after that. Now, if we look at the light hotspot blog that the helium ecosystem posted just a few just about a week or so ago we can see that even here they did reference that light hotspots are scheduled to be activated on may 3rd for more technical details on key dates see below this goes through all of the details some of the changes that are happening to the network as a result of this migration all of which i think are very, very beneficial and will make the network far more resilient, stable, and run far smoother moving forward. This is all information we have covered in past videos. All of this information really sums up what is going on here with this light hotspot migration and what it means for hotspot owners. And of course, there is no action required from individual hotspot owners, so there's no need to worry about that. The big thing that was the real concern here with regards to this migration was making sure that the makers were at actually coming on here and onboarding their hotspots using their software and making sure it is compatible with the test net. That is really what's most important. If you have not done that, make, come over here, make sure that your maker is listed here on the test net. I'll put a link to this in the description below, but make sure they are here. If they are not here, your hotspot will not be working once the migration to the mainnet is activated. But guys, I do want to highlight a few things that have changed since this testnet was launched. As you probably know, there is not going to be any more syncing involved with your hotspot. They are now going to be listed as connected because the hotspot itself is not going to download and store the entire blockchain there. The validators are going to be taking on that responsibility after this change. So the syncing status is now going to be reflected as connected. And if we look over here onto the testnet, we can see that has been updated. There have been a number of other updates that needed to be changed with regards to this testnet because of the differences in functionality between full hotspots and light hotspots. We also know there will not be any more relayed status. As you can see, there is not any relayed miners here, which is good course these are very easy things that seem simple but of course they had to be fixed before this can go live but it is very exciting to see that these bugs have been worked out all of these makers are coming online of course i would not expect any sort of earnings like we are seeing here by nutty carob frog but i do expect this light hotspot migration to dramatically increase the stability and the confidence that people have in the Helium network. Now, obviously with this pushback and the delay, there's still more work to be done. And I think that can actually be seen right here in the recent activity 
over 52 years ago. I don't think that is accurate. So guys, I think it is fair to give them some more time to make sure that this test net and this software is fully functional with as few bugs as humanly possible and to ensure the smoothest rollout of this light hotspot migration. But guys, I just wanted to give you this update. I wanted to make you aware that this change is delayed. It is not any longer happening on May 3rd. It is now pushed back to May 11th. And in true Helium fashion, that date of course is not in stone. It can still get pushed back after that if more issues are detected. But guys, let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this. If anyone here is a software developer, I'm sure you can empathize with what the Helium developers must be dealing with. But guys, let me know your thoughts down below. Any questions, put them down. I'll try to read all of the comments. Thank you guys all so much for being here. Thank you for watching until the end. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Please hit that like and subscribe if you have not already. But just like that, this video is over and I will see you next time.